Welcome back. This is section one of video three of porting the plenum and runner. Uh, the last piece here. <laughs> this part I'm going to talk about Siamesing the runner itself. Okay, the last ditch effort I tried this to see if there was any other possible way to see if we can find some actual potential CFM gains. And uh, if you're familiar with the aftermarket runners out there, SLP has a similar design to this. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but I'm pretty sure how they operate will be similar uh, in operation to uh, what the stock one is. And I mean, obviously the numbers will be a bit different, but I think uh, it may make you think twice if you do try to uh, pursue a pair of them. Um, they may not be what you want or are looking for. So let me show you real quick, just so we're on the same page. I'm going to zoom in here. So right here on this one, and this is the all stock version. Okay, I only worked. Uh, I'm just so you can see the inside there, um, in there. That's where I worked this area, brought, brought it down, and that's about four hundred thousandths in there. So the test is only going to be on ports six and eight. All right. Uh, that's where the comparison is uh, on this. Uh, so this first one right here is pretty much the stock runner. You've got uh, two and four are uh, stock, not untouched, and the, the six and eight are your modified. And when I floated, I just ran the uh, stock plenum. And we pretty much, I think you're in agreement with me that the stock plenum is pretty much the way to go, has the best overall results as far as flow uh, capability leaving it as is all right <clears throat> the numbers for this guy stock plenum with the siamese runner ported on six and eight numbered and i'll give you all four numbers number two is at 211 cfm number four is at 210 cfm number six is at 215 cfm number eight is at 211 cfm okay already pay attention six and eight these are the two that are modified right so we should think that we should gain some well, the reality is, from the original readouts, number six, okay, was uh, the original, before we modified it, was at 218 CFM. So we've actually lost three CFM on that particular one from this, just leaving it as stock. Number eight, the original reading was 214 CFM. Again, we've, and, and it was final, the, this modified version was three, or, I'm sorry, 211 CFM. So we lost three FMs. So already that tells me we've kind of gone in the wrong direction as far as modifying this. Um, but anyways, uh, let me give you the next numbers on the fully modified version to see if that changes. On this guy, now I, I, I showed you earlier, I had two different versions of the plenum. Well, I just took my more modified, the one that I thought that would give me the better results. So we just tested this one. On this particular runner, This one, I actually modified all the ports on it. So what I did is I, I, I noticed I've gone into each one of them and I dropped them in. And I did a little bit better job on, on this one compared to this, uh, this dog one. I, I got a little bit more aggressive into it and whatnot. But so I get, I'll give you the numbers on this. This one also has two, four, six, and eight, all right. But remember, we're just really just trying to compare six and eight because those are the two that have been modified in both versions. So starting off with number two, uh, float at 222 CFM, uh, number four at 212 CFM, and number six at 211 CFM, and number eight was at 209 CFM, all right? So already, <clears throat> we compare six and eight to our more stock version. We've already noticed that we've lost even more CFM by this modification can put on the, with this uh, other uh, plenum. Uh, we lost on number six, we dropped four CFM because it was 211, two, and then, you know, started at 215 and went down to 211. Number eight, uh, we were at, uh, 211 on the stock version plenum and then we went to a nine so we lost three cfm so i think kind of right now we're in agreement that this is not the way to go all right and just for curiosity 
I uh, did uh, some velocity tests on this to see, okay, well, maybe if it doesn't increase, uh, you know, if this creates a low spot and we lose CFM, but do we, are we gaining some airspeed potentially? All right, uh, here's the results on that. All right, the, the more stock version number six, all right, flowed at 353 feet per second, all right, and our more modified version on number six flowed at 357 feet per second. All right, pretty much no gain on there. It's pretty much the same across the board. So, and uh, number eight uh, over here, we had on our all stock version, throw, float about 363 feet per second. The more modified number eight float at 360 C, or 366 feet per second. So pretty much the same, you know, difference of three C, uh, feet per second. So I so right there, that tells me one, we didn't really gain, um, we lost CFM and we're not picking up velocities.